here we go. Hi everybody, welcome to your mindfulness and meditation. I'm Connie from Worthy Beyond Purpose. So we're gonna get started in our mindful body. So everybody remember what, how we start in our mindful body? It means we're sitting on the ground, our bum's on the ground, legs crossed in front of us. Perfect, perfect. And hands are just gonna be in our lap. Perfect, you're all doing it perfectly. So now we're gonna start with our mindful minute. And we're gonna take our mindful minute so we can just get present and so we can get right here, right now. So we're not thinking about all the things that other things that we have to do. So we're gonna start with taking a deep, deep breath and we're gonna feel the breath come up through our feet, all the way up our bodies and into our head, right? So sometimes it works better if we close our eyes so we can actually imagine the breath going up through our body and into our minds. So here we go, everybody in their mindful seat, comfy on the ground, and here we go. Breathe in, and breathe out extremely slow. Let it all go, and we're gonna do that one more time. Deep breath from your toes all the way up to your head. Breathe in. And breathe out so slow. Great job. It's a good way to get in our bodies. We're gonna just do a little rolls, a little body rolls. What that looks like, we're sitting down and just hands on your knees and just maybe do a little like this. We're gonna breathe in. Hi, Isaac, breathe in. And breathe out. When we breathe out, we roll our backs. Looks like that. So breathe in and out. Breathe in and out. One more time. Breathe in and breathe out. Come back to seated position. Let's take one deep breath in together. Hands are going to go up. Breathe in. Give yourself a nice big stretch up to the sky and breathe out. Hands to prayer. Body a little wiggle, hands down. Welcome to your body, guys. Welcome to the present moment. Do you have something you want to share, Sophia? Yeah. Go ahead. Can you see the game that we played yesterday? We love that game, right? <laughs> we're actually, we're going to do a really special, if you remember <laughs> I told you about, we're going to do a really special yoga nidra today, which is that meditation that's done laying down, and it's this awesome journey into your body. So we're gonna, we're gonna save a lot of time for that today, but we're gonna come back to that game. So speaking of that, what we started to talk about, you guys remember we've already talked about these guys, right? Where does Bully the Bulldog live? Jane? Go ahead, Jane. Behind the head. Behind your head. Bully the Bulldog lives in the back side of your brain here. He's the one who protects you from all the big emotions. And then we have Swoops the Owl. And where does Swoops the Owl live? Kayla? He lives in the front right here. The front side of your brain. He helps us make the good decisions, right? Yesterday we started to talk about the right side of the brain and the left side of the brain. Does anybody remember which side controls your thinking? I'm just gonna tell you, the left side is for the thinking, for like the math problems, all the work you have to do. The right side controls your feelings, your imagination, your creativity. So we played that awesome game where we had to use both sides of our brain. So we're just gonna do one quick exercise right now to get that going for us and what that is, we're gonna rub our belly and tap our head at the same time. So who can do that? Rub your, rub your belly, tap your head. We have to use our thinking brain and our imagination to do this, right? Looks like you're all doing a great job. Hands to lap. Now we're gonna try that with the other side. Tapping the head, rubbing the belly. Using both sides of our brain. Awesome, it looks like you all are doing a really good job. Bodhi, I'm just gonna ask that you keep your screen on mute right now and so we're ready for questions, okay? Because we can't hear when you open it up. Thanks for being here, buddy. 
Okay, so now we're just gonna do some yoga. And like I said, we're gonna do the yoga nidra at the end, which is that really awesome meditation. And the best way that we can get really into this meditation is to get really into our bodies. So we're gonna do some yoga to get connected to our body, connected to our breath. So then when we go into meditation, we can just get right into it, see what's going on in our bodies. Who knows what the word yoga means? Who remembers, Bodhi, go ahead. Doesn't it mean like meditation in action? That's a great one, meditation in action. Kayla, did you want to add something? Um, I think it means union or something. Union, awesome. Yoga, the word yoga means union. Union, we bring two things together. We're uniting. What are the two things that we're bringing together in yoga? All right, so what? go ahead, Bodhi, you have a... Doesn't it, doesn't it, um, doesn't it mean, like, doesn't the union kind of, like, mean to, like, it's, like, a union of your mind? Yeah, that's a good, that's a good one, too. Let's get Gabrielle, and then I'm going to tell you. I did. Go ahead, uh, Does it mean calmness in right here, right now? Totally. All of those things. These, this is, this is the, like the kind of the definition. What we bring together in yoga is our movement and our breath. We do a movement, we do a breath. We do a movement, we do a breath. We unite those things. Also, we unite, we go from our heads to our hearts. We get out of all this chat, 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 and we get into like our feeling body, how we're actually feeling and what actually is happening, right? So let's do some yoga poses so we can get in our bodies. So when we do the meditation, we can get really into the deep meditation. So we're gonna start in child's pose, which this is a really great one. Anytime you need to rest, you can take child's pose. And what it looks like, we're gonna keep our toes together and our knees apart. Toes together, knees apart. I'm gonna turn sideways, but you stay how you are. Toes together, knees apart. We're gonna sit back on our heels like this. Bottoms on our heels. And we're gonna keep our bottoms on our heels and we crawl forward. And put your forehead to the ground. And just think of like a little child laying on the ground. And this is how we're gonna start. This is how you can always take a rest in yoga. So with your forehead on the ground, we're gonna take a deep breath. Here's our union. Breathe in and breathe out. Let's try that one one more time. Breathe in and breathe out. And slowly start to come up. We're gonna stay here. We're gonna just do a couple of breaths. And what we're gonna do, breathe in, we're gonna open here and out, close here. In, out. In, out. One more. In, out. All right, we're gonna jump up and do our warrior sequence. I told you we're gonna do this one all week. So we should be really good at this and then we're gonna get right into the meditation. So the warrior sequence, we're gonna put whatever foot forward, mine is my right foot forward, left foot back. Start with your hands like this, bend that front knee. Hands are open like this. And warrior one, and we're gonna do our union, breathe in, Your warrior one, up. And then warrior two, we're gonna keep our feet exactly how they are, but we're gonna open our hands. So warrior two, breathe out. And then we're gonna do a reverse warrior, which what that looks like is the back hand comes back here, and this front hand's gonna to reach to the sky and we stretch back. We're gonna breathe in, and out. Just turn it to the other side. Whatever, this knee's forward. And then both hands, we're start our hands here. And we're going to breathe in, reach up. And breathe in, we're going to open up. And out. Front hand's going to reach up and stretch back. Breathe in. And out. Let's take a big breath in, all the way up. And come all the way down. The whole family is doing like yoga. <laughs> Good. Good. We're going to do one more here. So just fold, forward fold. Legs straight out. Hands here. Last one to get really in our body. Breathe in. 
and forward fold, breathe out. And just reach whatever is comfortable. Remember, yoga is never supposed to hurt. It's always supposed to have that stretchy, feel good in my body. And let's just really feel your whole body right now and take a breath. Let's give ourselves the biggest hug we've ever given ourselves. Feel every part of your body right now. We're gonna squeeze our nose, our toes, our face, our belly, our booties. Squeeze it, squeeze it. Take a deep breath in. And relax. Shavasana. Lay down on the ground. Lay down, find a comfortable spot where you're not gonna be disturbed, where you have some time to yourself. You can get a little pillow, a little blanket if you want. We're gonna give you a few minutes to get ready or a few moments to get ready. And I'm gonna turn it over to my friend, Jess. She's gonna lead you guys in the, in the Yoga Nidra. Get cozy, Hi guys. guys. Good afternoon, nice to see you again. So just like Miss Connie said, this is gonna be done in Shavasana. So everybody lay down, get comfortable. Put a blanket over you and maybe a, maybe a pillow under your knees. That's really nice. And you're just gonna be really, really still for 10 minutes during this meditation. And you're gonna keep your eyes closed and you're gonna just go inside. You're not gonna think about the outside. We're gonna relax and go on a journey, all right? Everybody get settled, lie down. And as you lie down, make sure that your spine is straight, your head, neck, and shoulders are in one line. Make sure your arms are down by your sides and your palms are facing up. Everybody gonna lie down? This is how you really get into this, this meditation, is if I'm lying down. Shintaro, you wanna lay down? Get cozy. Get cozy for Yoga Nidra. So close your eyes. Everyone just commit to stillness and closing your eyes and, and doing nothing else. Put your hands by your sides with your palms facing up. Close your eyes, I can see you. Close your eyes. And your legs are extending out straight from your hips. Your feet are placed a little bit apart from each other. And you're gonna just feel your whole body relaxing. And we're gonna start by tensing up some body parts. So, you're gonna squeeze your feet and your toes. Tense up your toes. Tense, 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 tense. And then relax, release them, let them go. And we're gonna tense our legs. Let your legs tense, tense, tense. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze your legs, squeeze. Let them go, release. And then you're gonna tense your belly. Squeeze, tense your belly. Tense, 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 tense. And relax. Now tense your hands up, make a fist, squeeze, 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 tense your hands, tense, 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 release. Now your arms, you're gonna tense up your lower and your upper arms, tense, 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 and your shoulders, squeeze, 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 squeeze everything, and release. Now you're gonna tense up all the muscles in your face, tense, 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 squeeze your face muscles, squeeze, 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 squeeze and release relax your whole body feel your whole body relaxing here and breathe out all your tension and weariness feel your whole body becoming very heavy your whole body's relaxed and heavy and you're gonna become aware of the body parts that I name. Be careful not to move them, just be aware of the body part. Just feel 
and listen to my voice and try not to sleep. Become aware of the right hand, your right hand, your right hand thumb, pointer fingers, third finger, fourth finger, and your pinky finger. The whole right hand, your whole right arm, shoulder, right side of the chest, your waist, hip, the whole right leg, right foot, your toes, one, two, three, four, all five toes together. Feel all five toes. Now bring your awareness over to the left hand. Bring awareness to your left hand and the left thumb. Second finger, third finger, fourth finger, and pinky finger. The whole left hand, the whole left arm, left shoulder, left side of the chest, left waist, your hip, whole left leg, left foot, the toes, one, two, three, four, all five toes together. Now feel both feet together, two legs together, your bum, your belly, your chest, your back, the two shoulder blades, your two arms, your neck, your head, your scalp, tongue, teeth, chin, the whole face, your whole head, your whole neck, the whole back, all four limbs, your whole body, feel your whole entire body. Feel your whole body now. Now feel the contact between your body and the floor. Be aware of the back of your head where it meets the floor, the back of your shoulders, back of your arms, back of your bum, your calf muscles, and your heels your whole body connected to the earth. Now feel that you're breathing in a lovely transparent bubble. Every time you breathe in, the bubble expands. Every time you breathe out, the bubble contracts, getting smaller. Now I want you to count the number of breaths backwards from 10 to zero. Be careful not to lose count or miss a breath. You can breathe alternately between your left nostril and your right nostril, starting at 10. Breathe in, 10, out, 10. Follow your own breath for a few counts. Now imagine a shining star on top of your head, radiating rays of energy and light. This star is illuminating everything in your mind, just as the sun lights up the whole entire earth. You can direct your inner light to anything that you wish to see, and it will reveal it for you. 
Imagine a beautiful red rose glistening with morning dew. The light from your star is lighting up the rosebud from within. And slowly the petals unfold, exposing the long, delicate stamens at the center. There are many more things to which you can direct your inner light. And I'll just name a few. Without opening your eyes, try to visualize and light up the various objects as I say them. Don't worry if you're not able to see each one. A red rubber ball, sandy beach, brightly colored seashells, fish swimming in water, a kite flying high in the sky, a sleeping cat, a butterfly amongst the flowers, rainbow across the sky, beautiful waterfall, school bus, children playing, snow-capped mountain, rising sun, a blue sky, Fluffy clouds, birds in a tree, a boat on a river, a yellow square, a red triangle, white circle, black dot. Next, take your star to the eyebrow center and try to visualize it there for just a few moments illuminating your whole brain and mind and increasing your ability to study and learn and to accomplish all that you wish to do in life. Now, bring your attention back to your body, which is lying on the floor in Shavasana. Become familiar with your surroundings, Maybe any sounds that you might be hearing on the outside. Set yourself a positive goal for the day and say it to yourself mentally in clear, simple words. Repeat it three times and let it sink deep inside. Now slowly begin to move your body. Wiggle your fingers, wiggle your toes. And you're completely aware of all of your surroundings. You can come over onto your side and gently push yourself up and we'll meet in a comfortable cross-legged position. Take your time. And then you can bring your hands to prayer in front of your heart. Namaste. The light in my heart honors the light in your heart. Thank you so much. Namaste.